Bonjour tout le monde. Jennifer here with a haul video from a Goodwill retail store. Um, this is one that is close to my house, close enough that I can walk there, but I don't. Um, <laughs> Cause I know whatever I get, I'm gonna be lugging back. Um, hi, if you're new here, my name is Jennifer. I am a part-time reseller on platforms such as Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. Sometimes whatnot, I have to have the energy for it. And I am a full-time French teacher. So I'm doing this YouTube channel to kind of hopefully um, teach, inspire, and entertain all around uh, reselling. So I went, this is from, oh, this haul is from October 24th, uh, day before my birthday. I went to the Goodwill that was near my house and picked up a few things. I'm trying to remember why I went. Like, there was a reason. Maybe I just went just to see what they had. I don't know. Um, we had the day off. That's what I want to say. We had that day off from work. And it was a Monday, and that's when the new half-price tags come out. I never get to go on those days because I'm always working, unless it's the summertime. So, I made the decision to go. I spent a total of $52.15. My receipt says I got 12 things, but I'm only counting 11. And it's saying I got three pairs of shoes, but I'm only seeing two in the bag. I'm trying to think of what that third pair of shoes was. If I, I don't know. When I go to edit this, if I figure it out, I'll let you guys know. Um, but if I did get all 12 things, <laughs> that means my average cost of goods here was $4.34. If I really only got 11 things and they overcharged me, mm, not good. But that means that my average cost of goods is $4.73. So I managed to keep my cost of goods under $5 an item, which on average, which is what I like to try to do when I'm shopping in the retail store. Um, I'm trying, you know, to, obviously if you're in a reselling business, you want to keep your cost of goods as low as possible. Because when I look at the price of something and then I look up comps, I'm looking for three times that work, that the number on that tag. So if I know I'm looking at a dress, a dress in my Goodwill is like 825. Can I sell it for three times that? So can I sell it for 25 or more? So when I look up comps, what are they selling for? Are they selling for 25 or more? That's, those are things that I look at, um, shirts. Shirts don't bring a lot of money in, you know, they're not, um, they've got to be a really good brand, but your everyday, um, your tried and true brands that you know you can sell inside and out, um, when you're looking at that price tag list, I think at my Goodwill or four seventy nine, can I sell it for three times that? So I, in my head, three times five, 15, um, can I sell it for 15 or more? That's what I try to do before I make the decision to buy anything is check comps and multiply everything by three. So um, let's just get going and what I managed to pick up. Okay, this beautiful sweater with all these sparkles and it is a very light, light pink. It's got all these sequins on it. Um, it's almost like a champagne. And, um, uh, something, oh, yes, um, this is Charter Club, it's a size medium right there, guys, right there is what sold this sweater to me, it is two-ply, 100% cashmere, it feels so good, Charter Club retails relatively high. The retail is about $120. It definitely doesn't sold. resell okay. high, Dillard's, but cashmere will remember. help. Anyway, um, it, cashmere, cashmere, and it's in beautiful shape. So yes, I had to pick this up. Absolutely had to. I can't remember what the color tag was that week. 
That one was yellow. So I'll look and see what else I got because I got one, two, three items that were the color of the week. So we will see. We'll try to figure that out. Okay. This is a Chico's size one. Chico's is one of my tried and trues. This is like a really heavy kind of open front cardigan. Let me see um, if I can hold it so it looks like something to you guys. It does have buttons up here at the neck, but that's it. Um, the rest of it is open. Let's see if I can button this and make it look like something when I hold it up for you guys. So here we go. This cute little sweater. I liked it. Here's the back. It's yellow also. Look at that back. Isn't that cute? Um, short sleeve, but very thick, very heavy. It is acrylic, wool, mohair, viscose, and alpaca. Fantastic. Fantastic blend of fibers. The wool, alpaca, mohair, that, um, that will help sell it. And the fact that it's Chico's, that's a very popular, popular brand. Okay. Next, we have Talbot's. I remember this one now. The lady pointed out to me that it does have a stain on it, the cashier. And I thought that was so sweet of her because uh, I guess she had seen it and I didn't. I got it anyway, hoping that I'm going to be able to get it out. It's this cool gray with like navy blue specks all in it. Um, and it's another open front. I think maybe it's a waterfall cardigan. Let's let's hold it up. Let's try to hold it up and look at it. Yeah, it is like a waterfall front or a rounded front. And it does have a stain somewhere on it. And I said, I told her, I was like, oh, thank you for pointing that out. I was like, I'm, I'll try, I'll try to rescue it. I'll try to get that stain out. So, um, I wish I could find it now to show you guys. <laughs> do I normally run around picking up stains and stuff? No, I do not. But I, I think it was just because I was already at the register in this case and I just let it ride. All right, I'm gonna have to look at it under the lights. I'm pretty sure this was the one though. Um. So, cotton acrylic polyester, nothing, nothing outstanding. I just like the style of this cardigan and the fact that it's Talbots. I sell Talbots. I love it. So, and I liked the way this looks. Um, There is a salvage store near me. Um, and I go in there from time to time just to look and see what they have. And they had these old uh, bottles, I say old bottles, they look like something you wouldn't find in the regular store, a stain remover. One was focused on like blood and grass. One was focused on like ink and something else. And what was focused on like food stains and stuff like that. So I'm like, okay, I wonder if they're different formulas. And they were 99 cents a bottle. So I grabbed a bottle of each. I'm curious to use them and see how they do. All right. Um, okay. I like selling this brand also. So all of these have been yellow so far, and I'm wondering if these were the color of the week. Um, but I like selling White House Black Market. And this is a really cute little sweater with some floral details, and it's mostly black and white except for this pop of teal which I love, absolutely love that pop of teal on it. Isn't that pretty? I just think that's a beautiful pattern. And those look like lilies and paisleys on it. It's a, it's a small, um, and it's got, are these buttons? It's a snap front. Yeah, these are snaps on the front. So that's kind of cool. So this would be something that you would see like a sweater girl, a pinup girl wear. I think that would be a cool one for for that. Um, all right. It's rayon and nylon. So, yeah. 
I just, I liked the look of it. Okay. What have we got? This time we've got orange, so I'm wondering if yellow was the tag of the week. That could have been. Okay. Yep, this makes sense. So here's another Talbot's Pure Merino Wool. Um, Nice sweater. I was looked like I was focused on sweaters just because of the the weather that we've got, you know, we've got colder weather coming up around some regions of the United States, not all over. But this is just a cute little pink sweater. I think that's pink. It could be a, considered a coral. But yeah, I liked it. Um turtleneck or like a cowl neck. Very um very plain. It's, you know, just a regular knit. Nothing fancy but I liked the color and the fact that it's merino wool. That has to be, I think that's, that was. All right, my one house wears, which I think was yellow tag. It certainly was. So I got this for half price. Um, the Starbucks, part of the You Are Here collection. Some of these can do very well. This is Ohio. Um, <laughs> say, do as I say. Not as I do. I did not look it up. But sometimes I know that these these You Are Here cups can do well. So um, I didn't look up Ohio to see how it was doing. So, but yeah, I've, I like selling Starbucks mugs. I have a few in my closet. I've sold a few in my day. So um, I don't pick up belts too often. But um, I, I decided to take a look at them this time, this go round, and see if I could find anything interesting. I do like this one that I found with all the studs and the faux turquoise detail. I really liked that one. And then it is, now this side, the, the backing is kind of peeling off or kind of messed up, but it is um, what did I see on it? Um, lambskin. That's right. That's why I was like, whoa, lambskin. So, yes, it does say lambskin. Um, so, yeah, I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, I'll pick that up. So, we'll see. I, um, I watch another reseller who sells belts, and I've been trying to learn from her. Um, if you, if, if you're interested in watching somebody who focuses on jewelry, belts, purses, and shoes, um, Lily works. And I will, I will put a link to her channel in my description. Um, I've been trying to learn about like belts and stuff from her. So I grabbed about three and we'll see how it does. All right. Here's another one. All of that is embroidery on this belt. So I thought that was gorgeous. It is a small. And yeah, I thought this was a really pretty belt. And it is genuine leather. Um, made in India. No brand name on it. This buckle feels very substantial. This feels like a, man, it feels like a good piece. So... I grabbed that one and did my last belt fall on the floor. Yep. My last belt is a woven leather. So you see that it's woven, you know, nothing too exciting. And then you've got that part of it and it is, um, it's LL Bean and it's a size 36, which is a good average size. For a belt. Um, I'm assuming since it says 36 that it is, it's got a brass, the, the buckle actually says that it's brass, has a brass buckle. Um, I think if it's a size 36, does that automatically mean it's men's? I have no idea. I don't see why a woman couldn't wear this, a woman or a man. So I think belts can be unisex for sure. All right. And then our last thing is two pairs of shoes. 
And that's where it says on my receipt that I got three pairs. And I swear I only have two pairs, but who knows? A pair could have fallen out. I'll have to go back and look. Because, you know, I had the bag in my car and they, they could have fallen out. I was excited when I found these, y'all. I've been thinking about these lately. Going, <laughs> like I've been thinking about them. I need to list those. Look how cute these pumps are. Do you see the top? And here's the side. What's going on right there? Oh, they're a little bit, a little bit scuffed right here. Um, I can fix that. But that's like, that's on the bottom right there. But yes, look how pretty these are. These, these to me just say, you know, business, first class kind of thing. Here's the bottoms. The cat heel caps look really good. I always, always check those heel caps and then I twist the heel. Is it falling apart? So, and I look for more of a, I usually don't get like stiletto stilettos, the really skinny heels. I look for a heel that's got a little substance to it. But um, what made me super happy is seeing that inside, Stuart Weitzman. So Stuart Weitzman is very high end. I sold a pair of Stuart Weitzman Gladiator sandals for 70 some dollars. They were sandals. They didn't have 70 some dollars worth of material in them. But, um, and they're a size 10. So that also tickled me pink was the fact that they are a size 10. And oh my gosh, you guys, shoes at my Goodwill are $8 a pair, which is ridiculous ridiculous and they never go on sale every now and then the goodwill by my house gets an influx of shoes more than they can um more than they can use and they'll do like a four uh four pair for 20 yeah they'll do a four pair for 20 sale but they're eight dollars a pair so i'm very picky very picky when it comes to shoes um because i have to think to myself um did I, hold on, where's my receipt? Yeah, they're $8 a pair. Eight times three is 24. I, I have to be able to sell them for 24 or more. Have to. So, I'm really picky when it comes to shoes. So, the other pair I got, and these gave me some serious Y2K vibes are these little sandals chunky 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 and they are Cole Haan and they're in beautiful shape they're in fantastic condition the bottoms they don't look like they've ever been worn so um or not very much anyway maybe they were worn inside somewhere and they are a size eight and a half I feel like the top is leather. Cole Haan usually is. It says the lining is man-made. But I feel like the top is definitely leather. And it's Cole Haan Grand OS. Always put that in there in your title. Um, and they've got that cute little gold detail on the top with the Cole Haan on it. The footbeds and stuff need to be wiped out. I'll take a baby wipe to that. Um, so that's it. That's my haul. Very small, very short. So, like I said, I spent fifty-two fifteen. If um, if it works out, that means each thing is worth four thirty-four. Um, that it's what they average out to. If it really is only eleven, then it's four seventy-three. But like I said, under five dollars. So, what did you think? Would you have picked these items up? I don't find Stuart Weitzman that often, especially not in that good a condition. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked this video, would you please give it a thumbs up? If you're not already subscribed, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button and um, become, you know, a subscribing or a follower, subscribing member in my YouTube world. <laughs> Just words aren't coming. Um, it's been a long day, so I taught all day. And then I decided, well, since I actually have on real clothes and makeup, I'll go ahead and make a video. Uh, 
So sometimes that's how we work around here. As soon as I get done with this, no more real clothes. We're going on pajamas all the way. Um, but thank you for watching and I will see you in, until the next video. Let's do this right, Jennifer. Until the next video, I will say a tout à l'heure. See you later.